Asahi Koramine, a high school boy who has trouble keeping a secret from anyone, has a crush on his cool and reserved classmate Yuko, while he worries about getting rejected in a similar manner to his confession of love with class president Nagisa Aizawa, his classmates encourage him to try by again. Upon reaching the classroom to confess to Yuko, he finds her unfurling a large pair of wings from her back. Yuko admits to Asahi that she is a vampire, but could only come to school if she hid her true identity from everyone. Asahi swears that he'll be her friend and keep her secret safe. Meanwhile, newspaper club head, Mikan Akemi, plans to see how Asahi's confession went and Nagisa appears to be spying on Asahi from a distance. Asahi tells his friends that he decided to just be friends with Yuko for now. Meanwhile, Nagisa reflects on how she brutally rejected Asahi the previous summer to prevent him from getting too close to her but now acts jealous after seeing him with Yuko. Later, Yuko eats her lunch with Asahi in an otherwise empty classroom and finds some cream puffs that Nagisa left on his desk, but the puff is too spicy for her to eat. She inevitably reveals her wings as Nagisa steps into the room, but Nagisa in turn accidentally reveals himself to be a tiny alien stepping out of her human-sized external unit while holding a tiny ray gun at Yoko. While worrying about her own secret identity giving out, Nagisa chases after Asahi with a hammer she refers to as a memory erasure apparatus, but Yuko saves Asahi from getting hit by it. In the end, the three decide to keep each other's secrets safe. While Mikan is shown digging a listening device out of an uneaten cream puff, Mikan tortures Asahi and his friends for more information about Asahi's meeting in the classroom with Yuko, but he refuses to tell her anything, fearing she would spread the information around the school as she did in the past. Later, Asahi's teacher asks him to deliver homework to Yuko as she's sick and can't come to school. Mikan decides to follow him, but Nagisa appears to help him off her trail. Asahi decides to stop for a brief visit at Yuko's student's apartment, but gets a call from Nagisa that Mikan managed to get past her and run to Yuko's house. Mikan is accidentally knocked unconscious after being buried under a pile of Yuko's junk from the closet, but decides to photoshop a romantic encounter between Asahi and Yuko and threatens to display it throughout the school. Asahi confronts Mikan on the rooftop and begs her not to do it, but depleting only makes her stronger, so Asahi takes the opposite route and decides to let her put up the pictures, draining her resolve as she didn't want him to feel happy. After school, a spirit residing in Mikan's glasses assumes that she secretly has feelings for Asahi, but Mikan angrily denies this as she twists her own glasses around. Nagisa begs Asahi for her help as her external unit ran out of battery power before it could recharge, and she was forced to come to him in her lily portion form. Asahi sneaks into the girl's bathroom and carries Nagisa's body down to the nurse's office with Yuko's help. However, on their way out, Mikan stumbles upon the tiny form of the real Nagisa, so Asahi tries to play her off as a lifelike figurine. Unfortunately, this only excites Mikan and Shimada, who arrive later, while Nagisa has trouble maintaining a doll-like composure, forcing Asahi to snatch Nagisa back and hide from his friends. After taking shelter in the gym storage shed, Nagisa mysteriously grows to human size and gets embarrassed about revealing her antenna to Asahi. While Mikan, Shimada, and Yuko all hunt them down, Asahi decides to have the human-sized Nagisa punch him out of the shed and escape, pretending to be angry. A mysterious horned lady magically returns Nagisa to her normal size, while Asahi and Yuko clear up their misunderstanding after school. After discovering that UV rays from sunlight cause Yuko's skin to instantly tan, Nagisa decides to train her into dodging sunlight on her route to and from school. Asahi studies up on vampire weaknesses, while Nagisa encourages Yuko to do a field test with her new training. On the way, they walk through a shopping arcade where Asahi tries to protect Yuko from a salesman offering garlic and crosses. However, like sunlight, their effects on Yuko are much less harmful than their depictions. In popular fiction, crosses simply make her annoyed, and garlic makes her eyes water. After coming across an uncovered bridge, Yuko is about to give up her new daytime route. When Asahi asks if she's tried using sunscreen, Yuko ends up using it for the first time the next day at school. The following weekend, Asahi and Yuko go to an amusement park together. Yuko saw it as a chance to get him closer to Nagisa, but Nagisa declined, seeing it as an opportunity to have Yuko go on a date with Asahi. The two of them go through the attractions, including a haunted house where Yuko was scared at first, but becomes upset at the actor portraying a blood-sucking vampire. Later that evening, Yuko notes that their outing was similar to the relationship that her own parents had with each other, to the point where they even attended her current school together. Meanwhile, Yuko's father is suspicious of Yuko's new boyfriend and tasks the werewolf Shiro Shinshido with bringing her back home if her secret has been revealed. While returning home from the amusement park, Asahi and Yuko encounter a scary wolfman with fangs. Yuko recognizes him as her childhood friend Shiro, but he threatens Asahi anyway. 
When Shiro sees the moon in the evening sky, he ends up transforming into a sexy lady named Shiho. The three then go to Yoko's home, where Shiho explains that she is the dominant personality in the body she shares with Shiro. Shiho then starts teasing Asahi, making Yuko jealous as she reveals that the wolfman can change at any depiction of the moon, including a picture that she shows to Shiho. Meanwhile, Nagisa heads to Yuko's home to make a peace offering with her homemade cake, but upon arriving, finds Shiho pinning down Asahi and leaves. When she returns a moment later, she sees Shiro in the same position and flees at the site. Eventually, the girls clear up the misunderstanding. While Shiho tells Yuko in a private moment that she would be more honest about her relationship with Nagisa. The next day, Shiho appears in Nagisa's class as a transfer student, introducing herself as a pervert after being relentlessly teased by Shiho's body in school. Also, he begins to projectile nosebleeds, while Nagisa starts to get jealous. Also, he runs away to meet with Yuko when the two see a tiny girl with horns walking by them. Soon, Yuko decides to speak directly with the girl, who tells Yuko that she's Akane Komodo related to their homeroom teacher, Akari. The teacher then shows up to wrangle Akane back to her office, where Asahi and Yuko learn that Akane is actually a thousand-year-old devil with real horns and Akai's great-grandmother. Akane also claims that it was thanks to her that the various supernatural creatures were allowed to transfer into the same class, despite Akane's attempts to portray himself as an adult. Yuko keeps bathing her into childish reactions with snacks and claims to be the more mature girl. The two then decide to have a sexy contest in the empty school gym, with Shiho acting as the judge, while Nagisa starts tracking mysterious demonic energy from her cat-like spacecraft elsewhere in the city. In multiple contests, Yuko and Akane try to one-up each other to prove their sexiness, except Shiho keeps getting the strongest reaction from Asahi. Finally, Yuko challenges Akane to survive by eating awful cream puffs that Mikan made earlier. The contest ends with Yuko and Akane blowing up the gym in a large explosion and sending Nagisa's spacecraft flying from the shockwave. Also, he finds out that he has to retake a cooking class having missed the previous one. He's delighted to find out that Yuko, Nagisa, and Shiho are joining him in making curry, but soon finds out that all three girls have trouble making it. Nagisa's directions lead her to make a chocolate cake which is accidentally tossed out a nearby window, where Akane catches it with her horn. After taking a bite, she falls in love with it. Mikan decides to buy Akane lots of snacks in hopes of getting an interview with her, but Akane slips away until Akari appears to wrangle her back into the home economics room. However, both women are sickened to find out that Yuko and Nagisa got too enthusiastic and added something to the curry that causes it to spew poison gas. Later that night, Akane breaks down the wall of Akane's apartment and demands that she get Nagisa to make more chocolate for her. When Akari refuses, Akane responds by magically steering an asteroid towards Earth, threatening to destroy the planet. Yuko, Nagisa, and Shiho reunite to make chocolate in the same room, but Akari discovers the asteroid veers off course when Akane loses concentration. So she ties her down to a chair and force feeds her chocolates made by everyone except Nagisa. Even as Akane tries copying herself to reach Nagisa's chocolate, the other girls manage to fight Akane clones off until she loses enough focus that Nagisa comrades in outer space force the asteroid to make a U-turn, saving Earth from destruction. This video ends here. Thank you for watching, if you like this video please click like, subscribe for more videos like this, and turn on the notification. Don't forget to comment too guys, we'll see you.